So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to click on your library on the bottom left. And then you will find Netflix. If Netflix has an update for you, then it will appear up here under updates and downloads and you can install the update. But for me, I don't have it. But in your case, just make sure that Netflix has been fully updated. For the second step, you want to head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to scroll down. Until we find Netflix, you want to click on the three dots and then click on advanced options. Once you're on this, we're going to scroll down again and then click on terminate. Now, once you've done that, you want to click on reset and click on reset again. For the next step, we're going to head over to search right here under settings. Then we're going to type in troubleshoot A. Now, once you type in troubleshoot A, you're going to get this right here. Find and fix problems with the Microsoft Store. You want to click on that. And then you want to click on next. And then you want to run this troubleshooter. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Then we're going to type in wsreset.exe and click on enter. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Click on enter. Then we're going to type in temp and click on enter again. Now once we're on this, we're going to click on control A and delete all these temporary files. If you get this, click on do this for all current items and click on continue. Now once you do everything in this video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.